Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Drop the Hammer. Um, I got some good footage lined up and ready to go for you guys here. This is uh, footage captured at uh, Skyline Nation. Um, this was uh, their platoon event, which was their first uh, MagFed exclusive event, and this was an amazing time. It's, it's games like this and events like this that make me just love the sport and keep wanting to go out and play more and put all my time and energy and effort into this sport. Um, very amazing course, beautiful. It's a hard course, but it's a very rewarding course. So this game mode is uh, being played on Colosseum. Um, it's a King of the Hill ga game mode, and uh, you can see that uh, that tower in there. Um, multiple targets in there. They started in there, um, and we need to go in and take that tower back from them. And whoever is holding that tower at the end of the match wins the round. So very very simple. Um, the other team gets a little bit of advantage off the spawn, but to counter it, we kind of have a few more ways that we can get access to the uh, to the center tower there. So um, just flinging a few first strike rounds. This is my last magazine of first strike rounds. Um, I will have a lot more footage from previous games of the day. I have some really 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 cool stuff coming. Uh, there's cool stuff in this game as well, but I have some some awesome stuff coming from from this day as well. I got a beat on him. No, but I can shoot them almost through the uh, the crack between the top and the bottom. I got him occupied. Oh, watch front, watch front, front, get back, get back in low. So I saw a few heads moving up front, um, so now you can see kind of my situation. I got to be thinking about the guys on the left. They have a clear shot on me from that tower, and now I have to think about the guys that are advancing in that brush up the front there. There's three, three in front of us, behind that patch of uh, thicker brush. Okay. Well, they're way back there though, yeah, they're way back there. Yes, I know I hit the hay bales. Um, that's one of the drawbacks to having a big zoomed optic on there. You, you, you'll put the optic up and you'll zoom in on your targets, but you, you'll forget that you know you have a riser and the optic's pretty big, and at that close range, your barrel could be you know hitting a stick or in this case the hay bale or whatever. Um, but the optic was amazing at this event. Perfect. Still two more right in front of you guys. I can just zoom in with it and see people moving around, see the, see them, see the, what they're doing, what they're planning, how many of them there are. It's awesome. I can see when the people are popping up in that tower right there. I couldn't do that without the zoom, uh, the zoom I got on there. So this is why I think having a zoomed optic like this or a mid-range optic for big scale games uh, such as Skyline is a very, very, very big advantage. So I've taken this opportunity to move up to the rest of my teammates in this brush. And pretty soon we're going to start moving into the Coliseum. Hey, if I pop smoke, can you guys move? If I pop smoke, can you guys move? Just kidding. So unfortunately, Buddy to my right there got shot out. And uh, he can't move up with me. Um, but we were also pretty tired. And uh, this game was a little bit slow off the start before the intensity ramps up a bit. Um, we hiked something insane today. We hiked like a total of like 50k at this event, something crazy. Um, regardless, still gonna pull out the M203 here. We're gonna launch some smoke and see if we can get a move on. Okay, well, fuck it. Oh, well, that was pretty useless. Oh, it wasn't bad. It's good, that'll carry it downwind. That smoke grenade was actually perfect. The wind took it and carried it right in front of the tower and made it easy access for, for our team to start moving up here. Um, I do cut the clip a bit when I'm crawling through this uh, long grass because it, it did take a while. I, I was very cautious when I was proning through this stuff.
Oh man, this is getting super intense. You can just hear people calling hit left, right, and center. The enemy is so, so close to me, and you will see just how close in a few seconds. He's out! I actually felt super bad about that one. Um, I, I actually caught him in the neck with the first strike round, and uh, he showed me he showed me at the end of this match, and it looked uh, it looked pretty painful, not gonna lie. Um, but anyways, uh, what I love about Coliseum here is it's, it's it's an island. It's a little island surrounded by this water, pr pretty much. And you know, I was kind of hesitant about getting in, but I was like, you know, fuck it, like whatever. I'm gonna be getting dirty. This is awesome. So got some Navy Navy Seals action here. As close to Navy SEALs as you can get in Alberta, Canada, Redneck Central. Um, but uh, actually, I do end up playing one more one more game later today on Coliseum, and I was already soaked to the knees, so I figured might as well get soaked to the waist and higher. I was I was I was much much deeper in it. Um, unfortunately, though, um, my camera ran out of space because it was a long day of filming, um, so I didn't get that for you guys. But I hopefully will when I'm back in Skyline Ten. Um, and we have the objective here. Um, now, now we just gotta well, hold it for the duration of the time period. My back yeah. pouch, so whenever I go through the creek again, I yeah, don't yeah, yeah. destroy my phone. Oh, you should leave. leave that shit. Oh, I should have left that shit in the truck. I just, I just forgot it's about good, it. We're good people here. That's good. <laughs> okay, go. That was fun. Yeah, man. Good push on the right, guys. Tried to squeeze under the structure, but nope. I bunked my head on the ceiling right away, and I'm like, nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna stand up. And then I decide I don't really want to stay and defend the objective because it looks like we have it unlocked, and there's some good players over there. So I'm gonna move up with Buddy here, and we are going to move up, see what we can do, see if we can have a little bit more fun, tag a few more enemies. So now I've advanced far past our objective here. This is uh, closer to where the enemies are starting to figure out ways they can flank around and get back on into the tower. Um, so they're all around me. They could be behind that uh, that tree right in front of me there, or in the creek behind the tall grass or to my left, to my right. I, I, I don't know at this point. So I'm just kind of getting my bearings, thinking about what I can do um, to prepare myself. Um, I end up swapping out magazines here. This was still my first strike uh, magazine. And I, I wasn't counting or anything. I ended up only having uh, one first strike round left in the chamber, and my magazine was actually empty. And, you know, regardless, it would be not cool to shoot people with first strikes if that was loaded at this close range. So I swap out to round ball here before the fire starts throwing. So actually that was a squad of guys that decided they were going to try to make one big push there. And uh, as soon as I opened up on the first guy and took him out, the others, they knew where I was. I gave away my position, so I needed to find cover right away, and I, I fell back. And now they're really, really close.
So if you guys didn't catch that, um, he popped up and I, and I didn't hit him actually because my optic was zeroed for a, a much longer range. Um, and so even though my reticle was right on, right on his chest because it was so close, um, my paintballs were actually going just above his head. It must have been so, so, so close to him. Oh shit! I just started engaging a few targets behind that pallet cover there. I'm not sure if you can see it past the long grass um, over right, right over there where I just brought my marker up to sight in. Um, I, mean, I think I hit it. I hit hit one of them actually, um, but upon looking at the uh, the footage, I wasn't able to confirm it. Um, so in, in my videos, I won't count it, uh, something as an elimination unless I get either an audio uh, feedback of the enemy calling hit or a visual confirmation of the kill. Um, so in this case, I'll just leave it leave it out. Um, but in a second here, I'm gonna start engaging that uh, that guy, that, that super close range guy that I just missed with my um, my optics set it in for a far range. He's still there lurking in the tall grass, and uh, he's still close. Right in front of me, 10 feet, 5 feet! So I know a few of the opponents are literally on the other side of this tree. I just took a moment to get my bearings and now I'm going to decide I'm going to start moving around the left side of the tree here. Um, but anyways, the round is nearing an end. We only have about a minute left. I'm going to take out a few more guys on their final push here. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to let you enjoy the rest of the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And as always, have a nice day. Take care. Back and we go the other way. I know we know exactly where it is. This is the fucking spot, dude. <laughs>